What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic. Today, we are joined by the one and the only Tanya. Hello. Yes, Tanya, what are we reacting to today? A video called 13 plus million people watched it. Indian Army. Rohtak Army. Army. Brad. No, Bharti. Oh. That's okay. Rohtak Army Bharti. You did very good. Good job. Guys, this was um, this was making a rounds on my recommended, so I'm going to take a look at it. I wasn't going to watch it, but in the end, I'm going to and react to it live with you guys. But this was making the rounds, and I'm fascinated because you guys have been telling me to watch more army mm. army um, videos, and I would really like to. So this is one that I would like to take a look at, um, as well as some more. There's some commando ones, but. Yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get into this bad boy. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to drop a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscription button down below. Now, let's get into this bad boy. Let's do it. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, let me, let, let's just rewind it. I want to see that again. So they're trying out, yeah? Ah, uh, you see that man's hand? Watch. Ah, uh, so it's a time limit. They have a specific time limit to get done by. Mm. Or they fail and they don't pass the, the army inspection. Mm. Oh. Oh, look at this poor kid. Oh no, I feel so sorry for him. Well, you better be careful, you don't get beaten, man. Better be careful, careful, careful. Look at the anguish. And that guy's recording too, that's bad. Oh, we're watching a recording. Oh no. Oh no. He's still going too, listen. Look at that guy. He probably just wants to give up, look at him. Oh no man, that sucks. So I mean- Some of them have had no shoes on when they were running. Yeah, because like literally what are they supposed to do? They can't afford shoes. You have to realize they, they come from villages where they have no money. Yeah. So what's happened here, babe, is that they've, they've probably spent their whole life training to be part of the army, right? Yeah. And they've waited for years and years and years to finally get their opportunity. Their parents, their family, they're all proud of them, yeah? Or even the ones that their parents say, oh, if you don't make the army, you're a disgrace. And then you don't make the army because you miss out by one second. Yeah. One second. You miss out by one second. And now, you, it, I'm telling you right now, a lot of these kids will be labelled as a disgrace by their family. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what will happen. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to go back. Look at that poor kid. He doesn't want to go back. No. All because of one second. One split second. He was laid by one second on that trial, that run trial. And it's, you have to realize too, it's, they come from places, villages where they have no money. Yeah. That's why a lot of them have no shoes. So they have no money. They need this for a job. They need it. They want to represent India as well as having a job. Yeah. Because they don't, they, where they come from, there is no jobs mm -hmm. in a lot of places. It's sad to say, but it's so true. That's sad. And you feel so bad for these kids in that situation. What, what go, go ahead I'll let you have your thoughts no to be honest I, I I didn't understand much what was going on now I do and well it's really sad to be honest because I know how it what it is to well it's not the same but I know how bad it is when you live 
you tell your family oh i'm living to another country yeah i'm gonna be successful because here i, I don't like my life i'm gonna change my life and you go to another country and then you can't make it and you have to come back and that feeling that feeling that where everyone looks at you and they think that you are a failure basically yeah it is frustrating so even more if you need it for a living because you're living in a poor mm -hmm. city in a poor city yeah so you're trying not to not to do that you're not doing that just because you want to change your life no you yeah. do it because well you want to change your life because basically you are you can't you don't have a life a lot of these kids will go back home and get whipped exactly they will get whipped guys and they will be shamed upon in their villages and it's sad to say but it's true it is true it is horrific that why do you think the way the kid is acting yes because he can't represent his country he's grown up his whole life and the only thing he probably knows is the army and to miss out by one second yes. one freaking second man that to me is completely and utterly ridiculous yeah. but it just shows you the amount of discipline that these army units around the world have when it comes to trying out for the the army mm. height measurement and chest measurement do you need to have specific measurements yeah. to make it in yeah so you, yeah, yep yeah. and body really? fat as well specific body fat that's why a lot of them when they join the army as soon as they join the army a lot of them they develop like a belly or something like that because they don't need to go through tests again mm. yeah but they still have the the proper training and things like that yeah but they don't need to go through these tests that's why a lot of them are so skinny yes because they have to make the most of it yeah well that happens um, with the police too yeah then yeah yes, they have, yes. <laughs> you need to have a specific height and weight i i've seen this police officer in america like literally he was the size of a of of a marshmallow yeah, because they eat donuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, no joke. I was watching this video and this police officer pulled someone over and you could hear in his microphone going... Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, how, the, how the heck have you still got a, a job as a police officer? But that's what I don't understand. So you pass a test... And then you don't have to pass any other tests all your life. You're a policeman for the rest it's of your like life. It's like driving a car. You get your license, right? And even when you get to an old age and you're you're having multiple crashes because you can't see, they won't take your license off or they won't make you take another test. They will literally, they will wait until they get a court order or police say that you can't drive. So they basically make you go through all that effort for nothing, because if you are skinny, you you pass all these physical tests, and then two months after you put two hundred kilos on, yep, you can't run anyway. So what's the it's, point? It's it's like it's like finding the girl of your dreams. You're in tip top shape, and then as soon as you get married, boom, there you go. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, guys, um, to me that was that was really interesting and fascinating. That insight of just the struggle that. This probably just hasn't happened once. I'm more than likely, almost 100%, hasn't happened once. A lot of this happens to them. Mm -hmm. A lot of this happens to people around the world trying out for the army. Yeah, 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 for sure. And like I said, just just imagine all the money and time that you put into it. Yeah, where you're probably as well. You're not as focused on your studies, and you're saying army, army, army. Then what happens? You try it for the army, you don't get in. Boom. What happens? Where do you go back? You go back to the village? You go back to your town? To do what? Can you try again next year? Yeah, but they... some. Um, I think so, yeah. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they can. Or maybe it's every couple of years. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure they can. But that's still a whole year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. What if they don't get it again? Yeah. And then again. And then again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just... To me, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely incredible and fascinating to actually see it and like you said with the other thumbnails that we're seeing right now with the measurements yeah. the physical test um they're measuring like literally chess like why would you need to measure chess to be in the army yeah and that makes me think oh maybe because you have the the crocodile crawls and the crocodile walks that you have to undo underneath the um um underneath the traps underneath yeah. the mine traps so Anyway, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a big thumbs up, as well as hitting that subscription button down below. Both Tanya and I will speak to all you beautiful people in the next video. Peace. Bye.